If you're expecting a very lavish intro, it's basically a rant on Death Battle and how they're biased against anime. If you want to jump ship, then I won't really judge you. However, because I'm a commentator and because I sold my soul to the devil, I have to do this. The things I do for whatever the hell I sold my soul for in the first place. You know, Screw Attack is just a sack of shit, to be honest with you, because they always screw, like, they always fucking screw over the anime characters, right? And that's when ev everyone says, like, everyone says, oh, you know, all the anime characters lose, and I just sound like another one of them complaining, right? Well, I'm actually not. I agree, he's not really complaining. He's basically doing what every other ranter on Death Battle is doing. Whining and moaning and whining and moaning and whining and moaning and whining and it's complete bullshit and usually I don't get mad but you know I was watching it and I really thought you know for sure Gara was gonna win you know plus you know none of the anime characters really win I'd say about like 90% of like the anime characters lose against you know whoever the fuck they're fighting or some shit like that because I actually do research and actually take a look at statistics I actually found that the win-loss ratio is 25 to 75 percent now, of course, people could still use it to say that Screw Attack is still biased against anime. However, I only counted characters that started off in anime or manga. And it turns out there's only a handful compared to the long list of death battles. But, you know, I was watching it and I fucking was in complete awe. Like, really fucking Toph beat Gara? Like, <laughs> it's complete bullshit. Like, for real? Really? A character that could bend the elements of Earth actually beat my anime character that used the elements of Earth against her? Preposterous. Like, oh my god, like, how the fuck does that happen? Like, that's like saying, like... Like, it's literally like you can't, like, finish a, like, sentence without, like, saying, like, ten times, like... Fucking... You know, like, oh my god, it doesn't make any fucking sense to me, I just don't get it, like, and then during the end, they, you know, they know, and they say that at the end of it, oh yeah, another, you know, anime character loses, and then they go to explain why he lost, but it's like they do that shit every time, so why should I care if you guys put that in the ending? Because they want to give a detailed explanation as to why one character is superior to the other. Oh wait, hold on, this is an anime fan, hold on. Because he wants to show how based here. Like, after Goku vs. Superman, which is on the screen right now, they try to, you know, explain after the fact that Goku lost of, you know, why he lost. If you guys really believe that he would lose, then why do you have to go and explain extra? Well, it's not like that Goku and Superman is the most well-known, pointless argument ever to exist in the history of time. And because they're giving a detailed explanation as to why you think this would happen, will get people to understand your argument. Something that you seem to be very much lacking. You know what I mean? Like... We all know damn well that Goku would probably fucking beat Superman's ass. I mean, like, 90% of everyone knows that. You know, it's not even about being a fucking Dragon Ball fan. Everyone knows that already. So, to me, it's like, you know, I'm calling out bullshit. Like, yeah, come on. Everyone knows that Goku would have beat Superman. He would have done that. That thing that he does that's more powerful than what Superman does. What does he do? And it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's like... I, I just don't, I don't fucking get it. Nah, I don't, I don't fucking get it. Death Battle's a fucking piece of shit. Like, they never fucking hold true to anything. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for real. Gara loses against Toph. You guys gotta watch that video and, and tell me what you think about it. And, you know, again, I'm gonna tell you that they're not gonna have Naruto versus Ichigo. It's not gonna happen. Because, you know, it, they're gonna have to make an anime character win, and that's not what they want. They don't want to have an anime character win for some fucking stupid-ass reason. Seeing that you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, I don't have any idea how you could forget that Vegeta beats Shadow. I mean, you even have a Dragon Ball Z character as your avatar, which is totally not showing your ba 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 bias, ba 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 bias, ba 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 bias. And sadly, I don't have an explanation for why they, you know, they try to degrade anime characters. Maybe it's because, you know, anime characters are so overpowered and, like, other characters from, like, fucking Avatar, which is not even a true anime, you know, they're not, other cartoons aren't really that overpowered, except for anime. Anime is one of the most, like, overpowered. So maybe they just feel like they should lose because, you know, we got things like fucking Super Saiyan 3 Goku and, you know, Ichigo and, uh, you know, all these fucking Bankai and all this sh anime super powerful shit. So that's probably why they're making them lose, you know. It's not like those anime characters might have weaknesses that might be exploited by more rational thinking characters. No, not even God can beat an anime character. And I just don't understand that bullshit. Like, I really don't get it. 
first of all, with the Goku versus Superman thing, I think that was bullshit because the spirit bomb could have destroyed Superman whether or not he was in the fucking sun. And I don't even want to talk about that because then, you know, this video is going to go on for like endless like it'll never be over now come on you've already done four minutes of this video and all you've done is just say it's bullshit come on continue on for another 10 minutes of my life but yeah besides that you know screw attack I, I don't get what they're doing they're they're really not going to get a lot of ratings with them doing that bullshit because you know there's a lot of people i'd say about like a good chunk of their viewers you know are people that like anime anime is like one of the you know best things out there. And it is because of that reason that from now on, every single anime character, despite even being weaker than the other character, must win the death battle. They no longer should be treated like a WWE mid card and must be treated more like John Cena, the glorious man he is. And to be honest, I really can't spend another minute on this video, so I'm pretty much done. I guess ever since that Superman beat Goku, everyone's wondered if Screw Attack have had this vendetta against anime. Maybe it's because that anime killed their parents. Without being said, it's a lot of entertainment. And I got no real ending, cause I'm a lazy twat.